Okay, ladies, I'm making this video for myself and for you, probably mostly for myself. Um, I just understood something just now. The universe just drops it right into my brain. So I'm in a situation right now with a guy that I saw as very handsome and wealthy. And um, I usually go after wealthy, not handsome and wealthy. That just doesn't seem like a good idea for what I'm trying to do. I feel like I don't have enough power in situations like that. So I just stay away from guys like that. And there's really not that many handsome or wealthy men. Most of the wealthy men are not handsome. So anyway, this guy is handsome and wealthy. And I knew that I met him recently and I didn't even like try to, you know, be attractive in front of him or anything like that because I just, I just disregarded him as a possibility in my mind of even liking me, which I know sounds silly because I'm beautiful and amazing, but he's the kind of guy he can get whoever he wants. So I'm like, why would I even mess with that? Because it's going to be harder for him to like me and value me. At least that's what my brain was telling me. So I didn't even try to seem available to this guy. So anyway, um, I wasn't even thinking anything could, could come of it. So, um, he, I met him originally because he, um, he wants to buy one of my properties. Um, it's not for sale, but he heard about it and he asked a friend to bring him by to see if maybe he could talk to me because he wants to buy it. It's not really for sale, but I said, well, for enough money, I would sell it, you know, but I don't really want to sell it right now. So he came by to see it. That was the first time I met him. So anyway, um, I saw him again a couple nights later. He bought me a drink. We happened to be in the same restaurant at the same time. <clears throat> and um, we had exchanged phone numbers. And then last night, he texted me and invited me to dinner. I was like, oh, that's weird. Like, why? Like, why does he like me? Okay. So I couldn't end up, well, I couldn't go to dinner with him, but I was available later on. I was going to this nightclub and I invited him, you know, to swing by and come in, you know, spend some time. So we did. And he was a really nice guy, nice gentleman. He paid for me. He walked into my car. He paid for my parking. Like he's just being like really nice and sweet to me. And then to further confuse me, he starts like texting me like later on in the night, you know, like just like small talk. And then he flew out today. And then when he landed, he like texted me to tell me he made it there safely. I'm like, this is like dating kind of chat. This is not professional chat. This is like, okay, why is he telling me he landed? Like, does he like me? Like, maybe he likes me. Maybe he's interested in me so like i'm getting all excited about it like oh my god this like a handsome rich guy is interested in me I'm like whoa <laughs> um so i start feeling like all happy i'm like holy crap i can't believe this guy likes me but then i remember he's interested in buying my property maybe he's just trying to like schmooze me because he wants to make sure he can buy my property. So, so I went from being like really happy that like this guy likes me and you know, we had a good time last night. We danced and you know, he paid for everything and he was a gentleman and he was just so good and just so like nice to talk to. And just, you know, we had a really good conversation. And um, so I was all happy about that and then popped in my head today. I'm like, hey, wait a minute. Maybe he doesn't really like me like that. Maybe he's just being this way because he's trying to buy the property. Hmm. It kind of like, you know, I went like kind of downhill emotionally when I had that thought. And then I had the download from the universe that told me all of it's true. It's true that he really, really likes you and would like to have a relationship with you and he's handsome and wealthy and he sees you as amazing and he would want to be with you. That possibility is true. It's also a possibility. All right, let me re-say this another way. All of these thoughts are in his mind, okay? He's thinking, 
maybe I could be with this woman. Maybe I can just get the property from her. Maybe I can just tag her and bag her and have a one night stand with her. All of the possibilities have already gone through his mind. They're all sitting in his subconscious mind. And where I come in is where I come in and I decide which one it's gonna be. And I decide by my behavior and how I show up with him. Yeah, I could end up just being a one night stand for him. If I do certain things and act certain ways, that's how he's gonna see me and that's, you know, that's a possibility. It could go that way. He could end up being madly in love with me. That could happen too. That depends on how I act and what I do and what type of energy I bring to our interactions. This could just be a guy who ends up buying my property or maybe, you know, he like tries to schmooze me for a while and then he realizes, you know, he's not going to buy it, you know, because I'm not selling it. It could be that. But also what could happen is if that was his first intention while he's schmoozing me and trying to get me to sell him the property, that might be the exact time that he falls in love with me because he obviously has to take me out and spend time with me and keep being nice with me. And maybe that's how that happens. Maybe that's what happens. Like there's so many different ways that this could go and all of the realities are true. This is all stuff that he has thought of. Like he may have not consciously thought of it, but they're all thoughts that have gone through his mind. Like we have millions of thoughts every single day. These are all thoughts and possibilities that have gone through his subconscious mind that are sitting there implanted in the back of his mind. And any of these could come true. And I have power here. He can't trick me into anything. I can't be fooled. I can't... It depends on how I show up. I get to decide which reality happens. And there's probably other realities I haven't even thought of yet. And one can just kind of like roll into the next. Like he could be thinking in his mind, oh, I gotta take this girl out and be nice to her because I really wanna buy her property. And I wanna make sure that, you know, I'm at the top of the list for when she does sell it. But during that time, it could turn into a love affair. It could turn into an amazing friendship. It could turn into a business partner that I have in real estate. He could, you know, who knows? He could be an investor. There's so many possibilities. It could turn into some weird thing where we, you know, have sex by accident one night. I mean, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen, but you know, you never know what's gonna happen in this life. And it could, yeah, like if that could happen and then he could see me as like low value, like a pick Misha, like who knows? Hmm, I could do that and he could not see me that way. <laughs> like there are so many ways this story could go and I don't need to feel powerless about it. Like, I don't need to sit here and think to myself, oh, he's just scamming me. He just wants to buy my property. That's the only reason why he's talking to me like this and being a gentleman and being nice. Like, I could tell myself that. I could tap into that story and make that become the story. I could tap into any one of these stories and make that become the story. But I just saw my brain, like, trying to turn it into that. It's me who gets to choose what's gonna happen, which road, which path I'm gonna take and how I'm gonna show up. I hope that makes sense. So it's all true. All of the outcomes are true. They all exist. Depends on which door I choose to go into that leads to a different dimension and a different story. I can take this door or this door or this door or this door or this door. They're all labeled, all the different realities. I get to pick which one and I can walk in that door and I can start walking down that path.
and I can script. I've been scripting lately. I can script. Every time I'm going, I'm going to interact with him, I can script about what's going to happen, how it's going to go. And I can actually create whichever scenario I want. That is so interesting. All right, bye for now.